Today, Samsung announced two brand new foldable phones and I have the Galaxy Z Fold 3 right here. I'm gonna unbox it. I'm gonna let you know some of my first impressions and I'm gonna compare it to the Galaxy Z Fold 2, the previous model. But look at this, look how thin this box is. Yeah, there's not a lot in here, but let's, let's go ahead and open it up. So if we take a look at the box, the first thing that strikes me about the box is it's two-toned. Even though the Galaxy Z Fold is not two-toned, the Galaxy Z Flip is. And if you look at the top part of the box, you can see the letter Z is kind of like reflective. And then the bottom is black because I have the phantom black one. All right, let's open the box up. And we are greeted with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 wrapped in a protective layer of plastic. I'm gonna put that to the side. And there is a black envelope here and it says Samsung on it. On the back side of the envelope is a SIM card tool. Let's see what's inside. We have some documentation as well as a USB-C cable and that's it. So in the box of an $1,800 phone, you get the phone, you get documentation, a SIM card tool, a black envelope, and a USB-C cable. You do not get headphones and you do not get a wall charger despite the Galaxy Z Fold 3 having support for fast wired charging. As I was setting up the Galaxy Z Fold 3, the thing that I noticed the most is it feels like it's one piece. It doesn't feel like there's a screen that's being taut between a hinge and a top and a bottom. I feel that more when I use the Galaxy Z Fold 2, and I don't feel that like very much, but it just feels more uniform. My very first impression is, this is nice, yeah. It feels a lot lighter. It's only 11 grams lighter, and I didn't think that would feel huge, but it is a noticeable difference. I have the Galaxy Z Fold 2 here. Let's put them side by side. You can see that they're not radically different, but it's just like these little subtle nips, tucks. It's not as wide, it's not as thick, it's not as tall. If you take a look at the camera bump on the Galaxy Z Fold 2, it's very big. It's kind of like they glued a domino on the back. And when I use the Galaxy Z Fold 2, sometimes that will get caught on the lip of my pants pocket. Let's take a look at the camera bump on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. It does not feel like it sticks out as much. I think part of that is a little optical illusion going on. If you look at the lens coverings, they rise above the camera bump on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I don't think that's a bad thing. The cover screen looks really good. And I think that 120 Hertz in person it feels like a phone. It just feels like a, a chubby phone. And then when you open up, like, oh, there just happens to be a full-size screen on the inside. And that screen draws you in. It's not something I was aware of at first, but there isn't a notch. There isn't a hole punch for a camera. Instead, there is this sometimes tiny looking stop sign shape that you see. And what that is, is Samsung's first ever under display camera. And the way it works is there's transparent wires, but it has less screen elements in front of it. So think of it kind of like looking out a window that has blinds. This camera is only four megapixels, but you know what? I can't wait to start testing it out. Not only taking photos, but doing video calls and seeing if anyone knows that I'm under the screen. Hey, so that's all I got for the Galaxy Z Fold 3. If you're interested in finding out more about this phone or pre-ordering it, check out the link in the description. But now, I wanna hear from you guys. I rehearsed that like three times. What do you think of the Galaxy Z Fold 3? Are you considering getting one? Are you happy with what comes in the box? I'd like to have seen for $1,800 at least a fast charger that is in the box to power this bad boy. But yeah, what do you think? Are you gonna get one? Um, are you gonna sit out? Let me know, throw your thoughts in the comments. It's so cool.